going outdoors and you know, visually suddenly there are things to experience and you work within those it sort of it was quite a, an opening up the beaches were also in the studio you know once I've gone there and settled down and got going it has that same feeling of being at ease in it perhaps that's one reason why I quite like working on, you know, away from other people around. It wouldn't be so easy to settle into that. It's a funny sort of setting that, the, the shore, you know, this view out to sea, which is a long distant plain in many ways, and behind you, you've only got to turn around, you've got cliffs, the odds are, whatever size they are. You know, you've got a sort of something which is fluid, you've got mass. I mean, this is rationalising it, but I think deep down there's something about the sort of being on the edge. I quite like to work with an interaction of wood, you know, flotsam come in, and stone. And it tends to produce much more dynamic and structural things, you know, more, more architectural in many ways. And I quite like that link back to traditional use of wood and stone in the, in the work. Um, the far end of Compton Bay, where you're moving from sandstones through to chalk, to something there that one feels very happy with. There's something about the place which you may know, find very satisfying. I'm a materials man. I like the weight of materials and the feel of them texturally. One of the things I found about going out of doors, particularly when you're teaching full time, where previously if I wanted to make something with, with steel welding or whatever, or just assembling things and fitting them together, that takes time. So that if you start in a holiday period to make a new piece of work, you find yourself three months later coming back to it to finish it properly. They're there like that in part, because that's the way balancing and counterbalancing and putting contrasts in works. They're, they're just very fragile things there. And part of the pleasure or excitement in them, I suppose, is knowing that they are dynamic in that way. I and mean, you get to start making something and the wind will start to pick up and you see the thing sort of, sort of, flickering around in front of you. you. You're just aware this thing is sort of almost alive. And what I found going out of doors, I could do something very slight, it's true, but you could do it in the period, and it's done, of going out, take your photographs, and you know, next week you go out and do something different. The sculptural experience, working and making three-dimensional work with the materials, which is different to sculpture, and I think I'm probably really for sculptural experience. I like the experience of the moment and doing it. Set, start working, you get involved with what you're doing, something is being formed, you push that as far as you can until you think you've realised the form that will work with that, and with whatever sense significance you have about it at that moment. I don't know, I don't feel I need to hold on to them for the material. I'd like sometimes to leave it there and it's a very nice piece of work, but I know either it won't be noticed as a piece of sculpture, uh, two, or it'll, the wind will pick up and it'll collapse, or the sea will come in and wash it away. <laughs>